Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how we can debug our Ionic 4 applications inside Chrome. So first, let's start by checking the version of Ionic CLI. So we can type Ionic-V. So you can see currently we are using the CLI version 4.7.1. Now let's start by creating a new project. So we can do Ionic start, then the app of the name. So I will say Ionic debugging and then I want to use the template tabs and then for the type I will pass angular because we want to use angular with the ionic 4. Now this is installing dependencies and creating the project so this might take some time so I will be back when it finishes. Now our dependencies are installed so this is asking us to install the free ionic Capflow SDK so I will choose no for now and now our project is successfully created so we can change our directory to our newly created project and then we can open it inside our code editor which is vs code in my case so now here we can see our directory structure now to run this project we can open the integrated terminal inside vs code and then we can run ionic serve now this will build our project for the first time and then it will open it inside our browser and which is Chrome in my case. So this is how our default Ionic application with the tabs looks like. And now to show the debugging part, we can open our tab 2 and then we can add some input elements inside it and then we will go from there. So inside of our editor, we can close the terminal and then we can go to source, app and then tab 2 and then we can open tab2.page.html here and then here we can change the title to debugging and inside of content let's add couple of inputs so i can use the ionic snippets plugin so i can add ionic i input and it will generate the input for me and i want the text input and inside of placeholder we can add enter first number okay so now we can duplicate it and here we can say enter second number and at last i want to add a button and when we click on that button we want to do or perform some action okay so i want to call a function on submit and then i want to change the click me to submit okay and also i want to pass the values of these two inputs inside of our on submit method so what we can do is we can make use of template reference variables so we can add first number here and here we can add second number okay so to use these variables we can just pass this like first number and then second number okay and now what we can do is we can create this method inside of our typescript file so we can go inside our class here and then we can create this method and then we can log these values to the console okay and inside of our browser we can see we have two inputs and a submit button and now what we can do is we can open our developer console here and maybe we can resize the window and we can go to our console and if i enter two and three here and submit you can see we are getting these inputs but if we expand it we can make use of the value property here to get the value here so what we can do is we can go back to our editor and instead of logging our variable directly we can add dot value here and then save it and now inside of our browser if we add maybe three and four for the second number at submit we can see we are getting three and four all right so what I want to do is I just want to add these two numbers so we can create a constant for 
first number and then we can assign the value first number dot value and then we can create our second number okay and at last we can create a constant for our sum first number plus second number and then we can output it to the console okay so we are getting duplicate identifier here so maybe let's change this first to f number and then this to s number so this will be f number and s number okay so now we can save it and here if we add 3 and maybe 5 and we submit you can see we have added these numbers but we are getting 35 we might know because we are using the inputs so that's why it is not parsing it as the number so that's why we are not adding these numbers and concatenating it but this error is very hard to locate so what we can do to debug is so we can click on maybe this page number and then it will take us to our tab 2.page.ts file where we are outputting this number right and then we can add a breakpoint here and then if we refresh or maybe actually submit the page again so we can see we are stopped or paused at this breakpoint and we can get these numbers or the values for these numbers when we hover over them right so if we see the value here so we can see we are getting the string here right first we have to pass these strings to the number and then we have to add it now to do that we can go back to our editor so we can make use of javascript parseint method so we can add parseint and then we can add our string and then we want to use the base 10 and similarly we can add our second number also so we can do parseint and then 10 and now we can save it and first we have to actually resume it and if we add numbers now maybe 5 or 6 and we submit we can see the values we are getting here is 5 but if we take a look at here the value we are, we are getting here was a string 5 so that should work now so this is sum equal to 11 now we can remove that breakpoint and then we can resume this script and now if we take a look at our console you can see we are getting the 11 value here.